Hi, my name's Craig. I'm the Technical Manager at QNAP UK. Uh, today we're going to introduce our new TS-H973AX NAS. This is a QUTS Hero Edition NAS. Um, actually the lowest cost one we've ever done. Um, so anybody that wants to get into playing with our QUTS Hero um, operating system, this is a great place to start. Um, it utilizes an AMD Ryzen embedded CPU. And something that's not commonly on our NAS is we've added some U.2 NVMe drive base to the front of the unit as well. So we'll jump straight into what the unit looks like. On the left, uh, you can see the, the front image there, and we've got five three and a half inch slash two and a half inch SATA drive base, so you can put either size drive in there. As you move down, there's four SSD bays at the bottom. Now the top two are the U.2 NVMe Gen 3 by 4 bays. Now you can still put SATA SSDs in those if you wish. Um, and below that, we do have the dedicated two, two and a half inch um, SATA drive bays, ideal for SSDs as well. At the bottom left, um, as well as the top right of the rear of the unit, um, we've got four USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports. They're 10 gig a second. Three of them are the Type A style, and one of them is a Type C. And just below those on the rear panel, um, an upgrade that we've been doing to a lot of our NAS recently is we've jumped up from one gig LAN ports as standard and we're now starting to move into putting two and a half gig LAN ports on there. So we put two of those and if that wasn't fast enough we've also added um, a single 10 base T port there on the back as well so that's 10 gig networking. It's a multi gig port as well so it will work at uh, five gig a second. Um, two and a half gig a second and one gig as well and um, so you've got a total of three LAN ports available on that unit. Another improvement we've made is there's really no reason to remove the chassis of this unit to do any upgrades so if you ever did want to upgrade the the standard RAM on this unit um, I would recommend powering down the unit and you can just pull out the top five drives maybe less drives if you've got smaller hands and it's going to give you access into this little port inside the drive bay enclosure there um, that's going to allow you to add a new DDR4 SO DIMM straight into the unit and we do supply this unit with 8 gig of RAM on a single stick so you can upgrade that with, um, with some more memory the maximum RAM on this unit is going to be 32 gigabytes um, there's some options here to expand the uh, LAN capacity, so if those three ports weren't enough that we've included on there. We do have options that you can add some of our Q&A adapters. So these are um, USB 3.2 Gen 1 adapter that can plug in and it will give you an extra 5 uh, gig a second port, which will also work at 2.5 gig or 1 gig as well. Um, and over there on the right, we've got our new switch. So that's a five port switch. It's got five two and a half gig LAN ports that will also work at one gig as well if you need it to. Here's a brief hardware spec. Feel free to pause this uh, the video if you want to read this in more detail or just go to our website. All of this information is on our website. Um, so the new thing here, this is the first Ryzen embedded CPU that we've ever put in a NAS. Um, it's a very powerful quad core eight thread. I'll give a little demo of that in a moment. Um, and the rest of the specs there. So I think we've only ever done one other NAS with uh, that's a desktop NAS that's got U.2 NVMe drive base, um, and that's a very large 28 bay unit. So this is um, really the the main entry point into into getting U.2s if if that's a technology you want to use. Um, now one of the most important factors of this unit is the price. Um, this this unit being the entry level into our QUTS Hero, it's a it's a lower cost than any other QUTS Hero NAS we've launched, and it's seven hundred and eight pounds plus VAT. Okay, so we'll go straight into having a look at what the unit looks like. So over here we've got our uh, main operating system. So this is QUTS Hero. Um, you are able to select to just use QTS as well if you want to. So when you boot up the NAS, you do get a choice between using our original QTS or you can use our QUTS Hero OS. Um, for reasons I've explained in other videos, I would definitely recommend going with QUTS Hero. Um, so just to give you a little overview of what the unit looks like, so here in the system status section, um, this one's configured with just 8 gig of RAM that's standard. I haven't added any more to it. Uh, you've got the four core eight threads from that Ryzen embedded CPU there as well. And if I go across to the hardware information, one of the best things about this NAS is how quiet it is. Um, if you remember from the picture I showed you of the rear of the unit, it's got a very, very large fan, so we can spin it very, very slowly uh, to get a lot of air movement through the unit. Um, so here it's only running at 890 RPM, so it's um, a very, very quiet unit, a, a great unit to, to have sitting on the desk. Uh, if, you, if you can't uh, hide the NAS away, it's, a, it's not going to bother anybody. 
Um, so just to show you some things that it's running. Um, so over here, I've run our virtualization station. It's a good way to sort of tax the CPU a little bit um, to do a bit of extra workload. So I've actually got two VMs running on here. I've given both of them all eight cores, well, eight threads that are on here, a bit of RAM to each different one. So here I've got a full blown copy of uh, Windows 10 running on this. So it's a full, a full copy here, so you can open up things and it works. It's very snappy, very quick to do to tasks. Um, so here, if I open up Chrome, so nice and fast, very good as a as a platform for doing any testing or rollouts that you might need to do. So if I close that out, and at the same time while it's running uh, Windows 10, I've also got a copy of Ubuntu running, a copy of Ubuntu Linux here. Um, so here, if I just log into it, so both copies were running at the same time. Just wait for that to unlock. Um, so here we've got Ubuntu running on the NAS as well. So if we open up a web browser, this is nice and snappy as well. Um, so yeah, that's the summary of our brand new TS-H973AX unit. Um, again, it is only 708 plus the VAT. Um, it should be available within the next couple of weeks. Um, thanks a lot for watching today. Please check out any of our other videos on our YouTube channel.